I remember when uh, you, f you gave your first talk on uh, Secrets of the Universe almost four years ago, yep. and uh, a lady in the audience said, I can't explain it, but I feel like I I've, I've met you before and, and I know you. Yep. And you said, oh, it's, uh, we've met in the sleep state. Yep. And, and then later on, um, I was asking you about... Uh, why I seem to be so passionately interested in truth and you, you also answered that uh, a lot of the information that you had presented to us in the talks over the years had already been presented to us in the sleep state. That's correct. Um, I just asked those questions to kind of lift the mood a little bit because yeah. uh, it seemed like we were going... Why do you want to change the mood? <laughs> I know, it seemed pretty heavy. Well, it, it was needs all, to be. Uh, it was all doom and gloom, but there's obviously oh. it's, uh, th no, it's we a need, mixture. See, this is a problem we face, Peter, is we need, we need to come face to face with the truth. And the, mo the majority of us, when it comes to our sleep state experience, never come face to face with the truth while we're alive. And as a result of that, when we pass over, we might have worked through a lot of emotions while we're alive, but you'll actually find that you've yet to work through a third of all of your emotions at least. And on top of that, that your soul condition may not have changed very much because of what you're choosing to do in your sleep state. So, so this is why it's such an important discussion to know your whole life not just to ignore the part of your life. Now for yourself, Pete, you do wish to ignore what's going on in your sleep state quite a lot. And to be frank, so do the majority of people wish to ignore it. This is why we can't remember it, but it's also, there are a lot of things going on in our sleep state where we act out the addictions that we continue to have that we're no longer acting out in our awake state. And this is a problem that we face. While we have the emotion in us that drives the action, we will actually, in the sleep state, act out those emotions, whether we think we're doing it in the awake state or not. What, what would be an example? Um, well, an, an example. Let's say, in my awake state, I've in the past had a desire to go to prostitutes in order to have sexual fulfilment. Let's say I learn the divine truth in that process, then I decide, well, no, that's not the moral thing to do, so it's not the right thing to do, but it's only an intellectual decision. I've now decided to not involve myself with, you know, with sexual immorality on earth. However, because I still retain the emotion in me, which is often it can be all sorts of emotions that drive a desire for sexual interaction with a woman. A lot of times it's to do with, you know, I want the woman to make me feel good about myself. I want the woman to make me feel sexually good about myself. I want the woman to make me feel like I'm a powerful man or whatever it is. Now, if that emotion doesn't get dealt with, as soon as I go to sleep, I'll be having sex with all different partners all the way through the night. Right? Now, now that continues to degrade my condition, even though in my awake state I am completely unaware that this is what I'm doing in my sleep state because I wish to be unaware. But also, it's the unhealed emotion that continues to drive the action. So, so this is why it's very important to understand. The key is to not judge it. The key, and, and when we get heavy, one of the reasons why we get heavy is because we're going, coming face to face with a primary truth and we're going, Shit. <laughs> right? Well, there's no other way I can say it bluntly enough. Um, what am I doing? You know, this is what, you know, this is what straight away. And this is an excellent question to ask ourselves. What am I doing in this sleep state? Is, is, is what I'm doing in the sleep state supporting my soul's growth? Or is it because I am so in my facade in the awake state that I believe I'm doing well and then as soon as I go to sleep I start acting out all my damaged emotions that I'm denying in my awake state? Because what happens is this, because I, I need to explain a bit more about it before we answer some more questions. Now you're in the sleep state, what happens is, remember we drew the diagram yesterday, the diagram of the three sets of cells. You've got your real self, and then you've got your damaged self. And then you've got your facade. Now in your wake state, 
you are in particular dedicated to your facade. By the way, many of you in your asleep state are also quite dedicated to your facade. However, there's a difference between the two states, and that is your facade in the awake state cannot generally be seen by somebody from a, at, at a physical level. So in other words, they can't look at your body and go, wow, you're in this facade, you're in this facade, you're in this facade, you're, you've got this damage emotion, you've got this damage emotion. It's, it's a rare person who can do that. All of you will be able to do that at some point in the future, right? And some of you are already starting to develop that ability. But unfortunately, for many of you, that spirit influenced are not your own ability. When you have your own ability, you will not need to connect to a spirit. You will be able to feel the complete person, their soul condition, their damage, and their facade. Right? But the majority of us can't do that. So what we do is we look at the person as they are, and we go, that's Di, or that's Alan, or that's whatever, right? And so you look at the person, and you then think you know them. But what you're seeing is the facade. Physically, it's also the physical body, which is also a facade for the soul, if you like. But, but, but from an emotional perspective, you're seeing what they present to you, what they're attempting to present to you. Now, because of that, you can't actually see and look at somebody's body and go, wow, if, if you could see their spirit body, you could see their true condition. But the majority cannot see the spirit body of a person until they go to sleep. As soon as you go to sleep, you can now see the spirit body of the person. So you can actually see what their real condition is. Every one of you, when you go to sleep, knows the real condition of every other one of you here in the audience that you've caught up with, met in your sleep state, and you can see it in their body. Now, because of that, it's a lot harder to maintain the facade. Can you see? Right. Now, because it's a lot harder to maintain the facade, there's a higher likelihood of you living in the sleep state in your damaged emotions, living in the denial of them. Rather than trying to present the facade like we do on Earth, you actually live in the denial of the damaged emotion. So if the d d d damage emotion on Earth is that, that I still have all these issues with women sexually that I'm playing out, when I'm in my sleep state, there's a high likelihood that I'll be engaging with lots of a series of or, or many different women over the course of my night sexually. In other words, I'll be basically sleeping with women all night. Right? And then I wake up in the morning, can't remember any of that, and feel that I'm a nice, pure person who's got their mor morals all up to scratch and that I must be quite highly developed, but the reality is that I've just acted out all night all of my unhealed emotion. Do you see that? Now, it's very important that we understand that. I, like, I don't see a problem that, the, that everyone gets heavy with that. <laughs> I feel it's very important that we all come to terms with the fact that these kind of things are happening in our sleep state. Lully? Um, if I'm enraged with my father yep. um, and I'm not processing it here, I, yep. in my sleep state, I'm actually going there and raging at him. Most likely. Yeah, unless you're frightened of him, and then you might not be, right? But if you're frightened of him and you're enraged with him at the same time, then you'll pick a man on earth who's still alive and still in his awake state, who, who actually is a timid man who does do what women want, and you'll rage at him instead. Because you can get away with it without him getting in a rage with you and acting violently towards you. Right? And that's what we do. Because we're still in denial, we don't want to feel our own rage, we don't want to feel our own stuff, and we end up acting it out with other people, not often the people who have actually done the damage to us, unfortunately, because we're afraid of them. So we act it out with other people. Yeah. 